About a year ago, I bought a 3D printer. It's a Creality CR10, and uh, I made this enclosure for it just the other day because uh, my shop is, it's not unheated, but it can get cold and drafty in places, and so I was having some trouble with some prints uh, not doing well. And I used to have a styrofoam uh, box that I made out of some half-inch uh, insulation that I used to put over it. It was kind of a hassle because I had to lift it over the top and, and all of that. And so anyway, I built this out of half-inch MDF. And uh, let me show you the inside first. You can see how it fits in here. I'll put uh, drawings to this on my website with a link in the comments so you can get the dimensions in case you would want to build one. It all came out of a one sheet of half-inch MDF. Uh, it's got a little shelf over here for a camera and the wiring goes down and out a hole there on the side and over to here and to the controller that I've got sitting on a little shelf right here. It's all controlled by one strip here so one switch there turns everything uh, on and off. The spool sits up here on top and the nice thing about that is, is it, it feeds really well um, down into here. So when this is tracking and going up and down, um, the spool is feeding it uh, in, a, in a pretty uh, even direction so that it's not getting a bind on it. Now one thing I would tell you is, see this, this tubing right here, it's some quarter inch tubing like you would run to an ice maker uh, for a, a refrigerator. And originally I didn't have that, I just had a hole drilled up here and I, I had issues with uh, my filament broke one time up there uh, at that juncture. I think it was, it was when this, uh, when the printer was running across to the other side, it bound and snapped it. Like I said, sometimes it's cold in here and I think that's probably uh, had something to do with it. But the door is also, it's, it's got a thickness to it, so when you open the door, it actually, you're, you're inside the printer a little bit, rather than the door being way out here, so that when you open the door, you've still got the printer is way up in, inside of there. So it's nice to have that thickness to the door. And uh, now, one thing I would change is I had to cut out for the feet right here. I would make this bottom board, you know, probably just two inches instead of, I think this is four. And that way you wouldn't have to, have to trim it off. It's got a latch here on the side. This just came from Lowe's that you would use for a, a window. And then over here on this side is just the um, two door hinges. I've mentioned many times before, but I get door hinges from Habitat for Humanity. They sell them for a dollar a pair, so um, I use them for a whole lot of stuff. The front's just a piece of plexiglass, and it's on there with uh, just some wood strips. You could just hot glue it on there. Uh, I don't know if it'd pop off or not, but the um, this is just some wood strips that I cut a rabbit on the back side. Um, you could also just take some like uh, paint stirrers and put one down and then uh, glue another one over the top of it. And that would give you a gap big enough to slide the plexiglass uh, in behind there. Or you could even duct tape it on there um, if that's all you wanted to do. Anyway, I just thought I'd show you this real quick. Hope it's useful to some people. Thank you for watching.